What does the BU stand for in BU Network? <laughs> and we always take a little breath and we smile because it becomes evident after about 30 seconds of silent, right? Right. But most people want to know, what does it stand for? Like right off the bat. And I love the way we answer. Sound it out. Draw, say it, say it with me. BU Network. And I hear this so often in other <laughs> podcasts and shows and live videos. I hear people using our brand mm -hmm. as a way for them to get their message across. There must be royalties yes. in that, right? <laughs> be, you. The, you know, we, we, have a, we have a saying for what goes with this, right? <laughs> Between two Sicilians. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. when we hear our brand being spoken in people's conversations, right? not just conversations worth having what we do, but their day-to-day yeah. -day conversations. Sometimes they're not even conversations worth having. They're just words that are a bunch of jumble, but they talk about be you, <laughs> right? And we're like, there's our brand. Our brand is popping up all yes. over the place. Yeah. And then yet yeah, people will say, what does it stand for? So because it beca I think it's because it's capital B, capital U, and then network with a capital N, right? So they think it's an acronym that it has to stand for something else. And and it, it, it's almost like their brain thinks it can't be that simple. <laughs> and it is that simple. So we over, we overcomplicate things yes. as humans. And then there's always something else that happens with businesses and it's the thing that they have to explain. Mm. So there's, what does BU stand for? That's one right. thing. And then sometimes people will ask like, what does your company do? Mm. And I answer, and I found over the last eight, nine, 10 years, right. like we used to use terms like presenting and best kept secret. And we've used different right. taglines. Powerful lines. presentations, all that kind right. of stuff. Yeah. Now I say something that is all encompassing, yet it's much simpler. I mm. explain it as a production company. Right. Like we tr truly make a big production out of everybody. The client is, <laughs> like we do, we make them, we yeah. make them our, our we career. Make you, we make you a big deal. That's right. So I explain it as a production company and that's. <laughs> that's oh, like, I remember you, you, I don't know if you remember the t-shirt I have. What? Have you ever seen that? It said, I'm kind of a big deal. And the point is that we're all kind of a big deal, right? So, so when I saw that t-shirt, I was like, okay, I gotta buy that. Well, we, we do that. So is there any term that you use in describing us? Like I find production company is who we are, what we do when it comes to producing, executive producer, co-producers, like we're, we're co-creating, we're creating, we're content creators. Yeah, I, I use, I use that term production company and I, and I tend to specialize it depending on the person I'm talking to and what mm -hmm. their sort of their niche is. So for example, or if I'm talking to somebody who is a life or executive coach or something like that, I'll say we, we produce videos to help you get your message, your coaching message out mm -hmm. there to more people. So, or we produce a content for you mm -hmm. to be able to share your message more fully so that you can connect with more people that you want to connect with. those types of specifics. Right. Yes. It's a good idea right. to customize that to the person that we're speaking to. It's still, it's still generic enough. Amor Generic's not the right word. Amorphous is probably a better word. Like this, it has this cloud of possibility around mm -hmm, the term mm -hmm. production company, and we can customize that for what you need specifically. Right. I also find that when I'm speaking to someone about, like you talk about the hope and possibilities. Mm. Production company means that whatever level to me, whatever level you're at, we can produce in depth on something specific. Right. If you have baseline production, if you have no production, it's almost like that when you work with me, you can right. go deeper into a particular pain point that you yeah. solve for your clients in your business, or we can start at ground zero and see where it takes you. And for someone who has everything all in line, right. we can produce something new as a new launch. Right. 
And I find that that's exciting for us, right? Because yeah, yeah. we're working with people that are seasoned, people that have never been in that aspect in that arena before. And yet we get to stretch and reach our client. For both of us, where this all started way back when, 10 years ago, was about, you know, the whole death by PowerPoint thing. We were seeing a lot of people give presentations that were just a whole bunch of slides, PowerPoint or keynote slides with a lot of text on it. And we're like, oh my God, this is like painful, right? And, and, and the person might have a really good message to share with the world, but they were, it was getting lost in translation and they were missing the mark, the connection with their audience. Mm. And so we were, we thought we could help fill that niche of helping people that are looking to up their game or, or maybe not even aware that they needed to up their game so they could convert their, their talks, their presentations into more business so they could connect with people more. There's definitely, a, there's definitely a, a whole slew of people out there that are already presenting really well and doing a really good job. And that's not the people that we're trying to work with. The people we want to work with are, are sort of getting into the game as mm -hmm. it were. And we mm -hmm. want to help them play on an equal footing, on a level, more level playing field with the people who are already doing it. So they can set themselves apart and, and really tap into their uniqueness. So there's the you again of being you what and, and help that connect with their audience. Whoever that audience is, call it an avatar, you, you know, their, their ideal client, whatever you want to call it, that they can connect with that, those people more fully. And remember some of those PowerPoints, we've done dozens of them mm. where they would be given uh, to us with all mm -hmm. the information and we would start to remove the words and recommend photos, pictures, images, mm -hmm. and remove Videos. all the words mm. Mm, because they're not notes. Exactly. The PowerPoint is when you get a PowerPoint from someone, you should basically not even understand what it means. Exactly. So that you get that and you need the presenter. I, I do create a PowerPoint when I'm done giving a presentation mm -hmm. that I hand to the audience that has more words than I like, but it's enough words to keep their interest in case they were not paying attention right. at all. It's, it's more it's more of a follow-up summary yes. after the right. event, after exactly. you've given the actual presentation, you've engaged right. them, you've left them with something to think about. And if they want to go back and dive into something a little bit more deeply, then there's a little bit more there along with links where they can connect with you or, right. or, or find Precisely. more information. So there's the PowerPoint that we would take and edit for our customers and our clients nice. that I've created for myself, which I do when I present mm -hmm. to sometimes in a women's group, I have a link tree or bio right. link where I have- Wait, wait, shh, shh. Oh, shh. you're giving away too many secrets. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. A BU link. <laughs> I'll, I'll call it a BU link because we have a proprietary link. And that has what's required and those PowerPoints right. that everyone spent hours on. They stayed up all night doing mm. them because it's their notes and then they get up in front of mm. the audience and they want to know what do you think and they ask us or they hire us, you know, two days before their presentation and we stay up all night and we remove all those words and they say, where's my PowerPoint? <laughs> and then they execute it and they say, it was fantastic. Right. Because we're trained to tell people what we right. want them to know. But in a PowerPoint, we don't want to show them the words. We want to tell them, speak the words and not have it up on the screen because we could read faster than we can listen to you speak. Right. So in our quest to really change that whole trend, we mm. did with the clients that, that come to us and, and still we see it to this day. You know, yeah, I it, see, still, it still happens. Yep. We see some PowerPoints, even high level, if you're doing high level presenting mm -hmm. and, and you bring something to us that I would be hard pressed to say that we couldn't give you uh, recommendations on sure. that because we might use some high level tools that you might not feel like using because you're, you know, basically in your zone of, well, right. this works, so I'm not going to change zone, right? it. We have a comfort zone and all that right. kind of thing. Yep. And we know how to, and when you come between two Sicilians, we know how to push that so that there is I got to come we got to come up with a graphic for that. I'm going to I'm going to build I'm going to make one for that. Okay, let's do that because I think that's just something that keeps coming up for us. Now, I'm thinking of two loaves of Sicilian bread. <laughs> <laughs> people might not get some people might not get that. We would get that cuz we're Sicilian, right? but two loaves but of Sicilian I, bread. I, I'm thinking more like sort of a silhouette. Yes, thing I like that. Of each of us, about it. But, 
something in the middle. I don't know. We'll figure. We'll I'll figure something out. I like it. I something. think it's cute. We could have a cute animation because that's what happens when someone gets with us. They get between two Sicilians. I wanted cool. to have this conversation with you today. Conversation worth having, sort of off the cuff. Mm. And as our audience will get to hear what we do and say and how we create things behind the scenes. That's right. basically what we're doing today. We're giving a behind the scenes, completely yeah. no makeup, no filters. Yep. Here we are in the absolute real. Yeah, we were because we were basically just having discussions about clients and some of the work that we're doing, and we just decided to hit record literally in the moment and see what came out <laughs> and yeah, this is what came out exactly so this is what what you see is what you get yeah. and we'll put this out for our audience to see this is what it takes for us to collaborate we're in two different cities if anybody mm -hmm. is new to BU network if you want to know any of the details and recommendations and tools that we use and platforms that we use ask us for a consultation what's that consultation call that we give resource communication resource consultation yeah I mean, ask us for communication we, we, we got to come up with a bet you know what maybe that's where we should employ the between two sicilians yes that's cool. <laughs> that, go go to our website click on the button that says between two sicilians that's what, much that, easier that's than, how you that's your consult okay right because between <laughs> communication resource well you can wonder what it is between two yeah. sicilians means yeah. you get right between us and that's the first consult. i think we've just created something <laughs> right here live for our uh, audience uh, to see this yeah. is how it works solution cool. for us so right. stay tuned and look for that all right dr energy this is fun amazing <laughs> i love it every second of it it's a lot isn't it? it's always the last 30 seconds of a, yeah. of a recording or a meeting where we come up with the big it, ideas yes it is i love it thank you thank you so much ciao ciao babies Bye.